This is a very interesting story. It starts with the uh, eagle feather. One of the highest honors uh, ever is to receive an eagle feather. If somebody was to present you with an eagle feather, that is a very high honor. If you won a gold medal in the Olympics, that's probably second or third to receiving an eagle feather from an elder or from a young person. And there's a reason why that eagle feather is held in high regard. You say when the eagle is soaring into the heavens, and as soon as that eagle leaves your vision, as soon as that eagle soars high enough that you can't see the eagle no more, it is the belief that the eagle went to see the Creator. The eagle is the messenger in our lives, so the eagle went to see the Creator. And actually, the eagle went to speak to the Creator. So the eagle would be sitting at the lap of the Creator. The Creator could be a he, a she, or an it. It doesn't matter. That's what I am told. But the eagle will sit at the lap of the Creator. The Creator will be stroking the eagle's feathers. And as the Creator is stroking the eagle's feathers, the eagle is telling the Creator what the humans are doing right and what the humans are doing wrong. As that conversation is happening, the Creator is stroking the wings of the eagle, the feathers. The Creator is giving instructions to the eagle to go back to the humans and let them know that the message have been, has been received. So you're driving along the road and all of a sudden the eagle flies over your car. You have to wonder, what am I doing in my life that the Creator sent this eagle to me? So that I, what am I doing right? What am I doing wrong? That has been acknowledged by the Creator through the message, messenger of the eagle. So when you find an eagle feather, or if an eagle feather is presented to you, you have to keep it in high regard. If you hold it in your hand, it feels like it wants to move. There's an energy that flows right through your body when you hold an eagle feather. You have to treat it with respect because you know it's been stroked by the hands of the Creator.